This video will cover uh, the basics of moving, moving and copying text within Microsoft Word. Um, the most basic way to copy or move text is to use the Windows clipboard. So you start off by simply selecting your text. In this case, we triple-clicked this paragraph to select it. And in the clipboard portion of the, to, of the ribbon all the way to the left, you should find icons for cut and copy. In this case, we're going to be moving the text, so we'll use cut. When we choose cut, the text disappears from our screen, and it's now off in something called the Windows clipboard. You can't really see the Windows clipboard from a theoretical standpoint. You can, I'll show you in a minute, but not from a Windows standpoint. You then move your cursor where you want it to be. In this case, I'm moving my cursor down a paragraph, and then I'm going to hit paste, and the paragraph will be inserted in in the new location. In a Microsoft Word 2007 or later, you'll have this little floating text uh, paste options. And we don't you need it a lot, but if you do click on it, you'll see you have your choice to keep the source formatting, merge the formatting, or keep the text only. Um, unless the formatting from the text where you began and the text where you're pasting it to is different, this isn't anything you need to worry about these various options here. You can just pretend that the little floating clipboard is not there and when you move on to your next item um, that will disappear as well. Um, for many people it is advantageous to know the keyboard shortcut for for cut. Again I'm going to go ahead and select this paragraph and this time on my keyboard I'm going to use a control X to cut it out of there. In many programs you do not have icons for cut and copy so you need to know that control X is cut, move to a different lo location and then it would be control V for paste. Copying text is very similar. Um, rather than choosing the cut icon, we're going to simply choose the copy icon. Remember the only difference between cut and copy is what happens to the original. Both cut and copy place the item into the Windows clipboard and paste takes whatever's in the Windows clipboard and pastes it into the new location. So again, if I take this paragraph, this time I copy. Notice that it does stay in the document. However, it did also place it into the Windows clipboard. I'm going to then move my cursor to the beginning of the next paragraph and I'm going to paste, paste, paste. Each time I click paste, you see that I get the paragraph again and again and again um, because it does remain in the Windows clipboard. So I can continue to push paste um, until I either place something else in the clipboard or I manually empty the clipboard or I turn my computer off exiting Windows. Exiting the program Word would not empty the clipboard. Um, I don't need this three times, so I'm going to go ahead and hit undo on, on those so I just have it back to the one time. Beginning in Word 2002 and expanded in Word 2007, you can actually see what items are in the clipboard by, by having an enhanced Office clipboard. In the clipboard portion of the ribbon, in the bottom right-hand corner where we normally get a dialog box, clicking that will open up the clipboard task pane. And I can see in that pane that the item that I placed in the clipboard is appears right here in the first location. I actually have the ability in Word 2007 or later to store up to 24 items in my clipboard. This is not a feature of Windows. It's enhanced the Windows clipboard um, so that it can store multiple items and so that I can actually view what items are in the clipboard. This would allow me to, for example, go and take another paragraph, copy, and maybe another paragraph, copy, and you can see each of these items appears over here in my clipboard task pane. Then I can go ahead and go to a new document, Control N, and I can choose the items out of the clipboard task, out of the clipboard pane over here on the left by simply clicking on the ones that I want. Again, I can store up to 24 items in the in the uh, enhanced Office clipboard. These items will um, stay there as I move from program to program, like Word to Excel, for example. Once I've uh, filled the clipboard with 24 items. If I put a 25th item in, the one that's been in there the longest will go away, will disappear. Or you'll notice when you're over it that there's like a little drop down arrow. So if I wanted to, I could click that drop down arrow and delete an item out of the clipboard. Um, also, by having the clipboard task pane open, I have the ability to push this clear all button and actually clear the items that I have stored in the in the clipboard. And I can go ahead and close that task that pane with its own little X. I have no need for this document so I'm going to close and not save it returning to my original document and closing the tip clipboard pane over there as well. 
Uh, in Word, you do have the ability when you want to move things a short distance. Sometimes it can be faster to just drag them rather than using the clipboard. For example, if I wanted to take this word desktop, and maybe for whatever reason I wanted to move it down to here. Notice that I selected the word, and then I placed my mouse on top of that word and drag it down to its new location. This is why it's often when people try to select text, they end up doing something like this, and they select, and then they realize they missed a word. They go back and try to enhance that selection, and they end up rearranging. Once you've let go of the mouse, you have selected it. Now if you put your mouse back on it, notice it's an arrow. Now you would be moving it to a new location. Undo can be your best friend when you do move things accidentally. Moving things with the drag and drop is great when you have something like uh, a list of items like this. Maybe you want to take one item. Here I've taken the third item and I want to go ahead and drag it up into the second location. Or maybe I want it to come down into the, the fourth location or even all the way to the end. I may have to, that may take me a minute to do because my punctuation is not correct obviously and to move it to the end. but the drag and drop can be very helpful in those situations. Okay, let me just clean this up. It can be difficult if you do rearrange them in a, a bad order. Also to note with the drag, um, if you take an item and you know you drag it with your left mouse button, it is a move, but if you drag it with your right mouse button instead, you are asked if you want to move or copy. By choosing copy, this allows you to have two of them. You'll notice it's here and it's here because I drag it with the right mouse button rather than the left. And that concludes our overview of moving and copying text.